Hi, it's Rick from The Game Creators here. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at this big green area that's the map view. And we're going to do that by loading up a level, and you can do this as well. We're going to load up a level called Get to the River. So while it's loading, what it's doing is it's loading all the objects and all the scenery, the terrain, the water, and when all that data is loaded, it will be displayed in this map editor view, like so. Now, you can move around this map using the arrow keys on the keyboard, or WASD as well. And if you've got a very large map, well you can press shift and really zip along and find the area you want to start creating in. You're also looking down on the level from a bird's eye view. And you might think, well I want to see more of the level. So just click on this minus icon and you're zooming up in the sky. Press shift and you zoom much faster. This is also echoed on the mouse wheel. And again if you press shift you zoom in and out much faster like so. When you save your level it will remember exactly where you were when you were last editing it. So you're always back to the area that you've been creating in. OK, now let's have a look at the terrain tools. In the icon bar we've got a number of tools here. This first one is for raising and lowering the terrain, like so. You just click with your left mouse button and drag the mouse around. The longer you hold down, the higher the mountain will go up. You can increase the size of the cursor, like so, by pressing plus and minus. So if we zoom out, we can see better what we're doing. So we can create huge big hills in the background of our game. And for finer details, we make the cursor much smaller. Really easy to use, a lot of fun, and quite quickly you've got something interesting for your game. Now, not everything is just peaks. You might just want to create um, a hill that is a big sort of area that you can put buildings on. So we use this level mode. This will take the height of where the cursor is, so over top of this hill, and the size of the cursor is important as well. So if we click left mouse button, we can then draw at that height. Okay, it's remembering where the cursor is and pulls up any terrain that we draw into. Make the cursor bigger. There we are. So if I went down here and clicked, I cut into what I've already created. If I click there, I draw at that height. Now, you might want to draw this height over here. So you would use this icon, stored level mode. This was the last level you used. Click, and there we are. We're drawing at that height again. Then we've got uh, a smoothing or blending tool and a ramp tool. So if we draw a ramp, which is going from one height to another, so I click and then let go here, it creates a ramp all the way down there based on the height, size of the cursor. Using the Blend tool, I can smooth that off really easily. It's important to make levels of quality. You want people to enjoy your levels, and the more effort you put in, the better your levels will look. OK. And then we've got the Paint tools. So we don't want grass everywhere, do we? The green, lush colour. So this is like a path colour, and again, depending on the size of your brush, it will paint based on that. The longer you hold down, so you might want to just give a hint of it and mix it with the green. If you right click, then it'll go back to the green. And then you've got different colours for different situations in your level. The edge of the, the mountains is automatic, that's created for you by Game Guru. Now you've got this grass icon, okay, um, you might think this green is grass but actually this this grass is like vegetation uh, and it can be changed to different styles of vegetation 
uh, weeds or grasses of different styles and you'll see that later in other tutorials on how to do that and this just indicates where that grass will appear okay so those are the main sort of tools for creating landscapes and um, painting your world uh, again just to reiterate about the water if you right click you cut into the terrain and that allows you to do pools and interesting uh, water features around your level again the smaller you make things the more interesting and detailed you can make your level and it's important that you you make levels look interesting you don't want just something very quickly created that uh, doesn't interest people so you can have hours of fun with that uh, that's just a quick brief overview now I'm going to introduce you to entities so this library here allows you access to all the different entities that come with Game Guru. So we click Add New Entity, and we've got lots of different categories to choose objects from. We're going to go to the uh, Building section and choose a sandstone building. We can rotate it, place it down, place another one down, and so on. Right click to remove it from the cursor. Again, we can select it and move it if we didn't have it in the right place, like so. So I'm just going to cut some terrain so we've got a bit of a pool in front of us. I'm going to place a bit of a hill around the edge. This is just quickly to show you how quickly you can create something now we need some vegetation so we're going to foliage select a tree put some trees down if we press I we can spray the trees like so ok uh, we'll have some of that grass and we're going to put a marker down and this is the start marker this is where you start in the game so it's the location and the direction you're facing okay and then all we do is we press test level and game guru will take all that information and build it into the finished game now you've got all that information on the screen it shows you how to play the game uh, for now We'll just walk around what we've created. Look, we've got our buildings. Walk inside and outside. We've got a lovely reflective pool. We've got trees everywhere. Really nice. Very simple. If we press tab, we've got lots of settings we can mess around with. We can have shadows, real-time shadows or baked shadows. We can even change the sky in an instant. The sky type, let's make it into a golden colour. And the whole scene gets transformed based on the sky. So that's adding entities. Press escape, come back to the editor and continue to create your game.